G'day everyone, welcome to Extra Sight. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. Uh, just wait until everything looks okay. Just one moment. All right, uh, first of all, I'd like to say hello to, uh, let me see, uh, Shandri, hello, hello, Sammy, hello, hello, Barbara, hello, hello. And also I'd like to say um, a very big hello to Wendy who's uh, moderating and uh, making sure that everything is going okay. Uh, and all right, so what I have here, I thought to myself, oh, g'day, g'day Anna, how are you? Uh, Sergio, hello, hello. Hello Australia, absolutely g'day. Marcy, hello, hello. <laughs> Okay, now I was thinking about uh, last week. Oh, g'day, g'day, Joanna. Hello, Coffee Cat. How you going? How you going? Um, I was thinking of my next. Oh, Rick. Hello, Rick. How you going? Lindy. Hello. How you going? How you going? Sneaks. G'day, Deb. Hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> oh, g'day, Beth. How you going? How you going? G'day from Perth. That's it all over on the west side. Um, okay, last week I was thinking about, or well, not even that long ago, uh, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about the next live stream and I thought, um, what? Oh, Linda, hello. Glad to see you too. Glad to see you too. Uh, I was thinking, what could I, I wanted to do something different. And I thought, you know what? I haven't done something like this for a long time. Now, I have I have got a video on this YouTube uh, channel where you will see me go into a lot of detail making uh, pastel papers, but I thought, you know what, it's time to freshen it up a bit and, and to do it on a live stream. That way you can ask me questions at the same time. Plus, I wanted to also talk about fixatives. Now, I've got a whole heap. So what I'll do is, is first of all, I'll tell you what I've got as far as uh, uh, making making our making pastel paper or making a surface ready for pastels that's probably what how I should say it um, ja hello Janet how you going welcome welcome so uh, the three that I have in my studio as far as oh oh good Heidi how you going how you going uh, the three uh, welcome by the way sorry um, the three pastel grounds that I have in my uh, studio are one made by uh, Schminky. No, 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 that's okay. No, no, no. I've got it there on purpose because it's, um, hang on. There we go. Just there. It, uh, okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Already I've started. Um, oh, uh, g'day, John. G'day, John. Uh, yay. I've been experimenting with uh, making my own surfaces. You beauty. Lovely. Lovely to hear. Well, well, here we go. You've, you've come to the right place. Well, you know, I don't know if you've come to the right place, but at least you get to see what I do anyway. Um, so I was just leaning it like that over. Uh, just so you could see what it what it is. So hang on, just let me do that with it. I don't want it to fall. There we go. All right. Have I mucked everything up here? Okay. So the pastel ground that I've got here is, uh, like I said before, it's and it says here primer for pastels. So this one's by Schminky. Um, oh, <laughs> g'day, Christine. Hello, how are you going? A long time no see. Hope all is well. Yes, all is well on this side of the fence. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, Schminky. And now the next one is by Art Spectrum, uh, which is an Australian uh, manufacturing uh, company, and they make all sorts of things. And this is just one of their products. And uh, this is a fine tooth primer. Now, this comes in. Uh, many colors. Uh, I've picked this one because I usually like the dark ones, but I will show you how to tint ones which are white uh, primers. And uh, the golden, the gesso, uh, sorry, the uh, golden one, acrylic ground for pastels. And there's like little recipes, like, you know, one part water, whatever. And so I'll go through each one. Uh, so there's that. That's what we're going to, that's, they're the things that's what we're going to use to make our uh, pastel paper with today. And I've got like um, little, 
I've got my little boats, you know, so I like my little boats, okay, uh, and, and uh, fixatives, I'm going to talk about some of these, um, work, Krylon workable fixative, Schminky again, uh, uh, fixative for pastels, right, Winsor Newton, which is also good for coloured pencils, um, I have another one, which is, so you can't say that I haven't tried these. This is what I'm trying to get at all this time because everyone talks about fixatives all the time and should I use and I use and I don't use and oh, so much. It's just such a, there's, there are two camps, the one that likes the fixative and the one that absolutely doesn't like it. So there's, so this is another one, Crystal Coty, and here we have um, Spectrafix which I have put in a spray bottle like this. I've taken it out of that and put it in this, but that's okay. Uh, let me see, what else have I got? You know, oh, here we go. This is um, another fix, a fixative, a workable mat by Mikador Group, which is, um, I believe, another Aussie group. Yep. But I know that they're around the world as well. And although this is nothing to do with pastels and fixative, I thought I'd give this a go so we can test it out. Because some people go, is um, by brush and pencil. Does brush and pencil fixative work for pastels? And we always say no, but we'll test it and we'll show you that this is just for colored pencil. So I'll put all of these aside. Uh, let me see. I missed, uh, I missed the intro. What is she doing? Ah, I'm gonna be making pastel paper, Chris, and I'm going to be playing around with fixatives and talking that and that type of thing um uh let me see uh um uh okay all right making paper yes making paper okay so so i'm just going to put a oh uh Oh, okay. Uh, Gabriella, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what was that question again? Sorry. Okay. Um, Wendy was just saying that, uh, do I have a preference? There was a, like a super tooth for the art spectrum and there's a this one says fine tooth now I'm going to zoom in when I'm doing this so I just wanted you to see what, what my area looks like before I hone in and um, uh, to be honest I don't know of the the super tooth I haven't seen that I'm going to check it out I will check that out um, yes but this one seems to be uh, working okay okay now we all know I mean you all know that I work on pastel mat, that that is my paper of choice. But there are some people that don't like it or maybe feel that it's just a bit out of their budget. And to make pastel paper, that might be an option. So, and so here we go. So I'll just put that aside just for a moment. Uh, let me see. I just want you to see that. And what I've done here, I've got some... Uh, you can use the, the, the pastel ground uh, without tinting it or you can use it by tinting it with these different, um, these are like high flow acrylic um, inks, oh they're not really ink, it's like a high flow, it, yeah, it's, is it an ink? It's not an ink. I always think, I always thought it wasn't, it's not an ink, anyway. It just says, it's just high flow acrylic. Uh, also, I've got, well, this is an acrylic ink. So I, I think these two are the, kind of like the same sort of thing. So, you know, you can tint your, um, we're going to tint these with these colors. And there's also Dr. Uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's, it's this watercolor, uh, which is like super bright. You only need like a little drop, you know, like it's just so vibrant. So, and I've got some uh, pastels for us to try 
and pastel pencils for us to try after I've done this. Now this is hope, hopefully, hopefully all of this stuff will dry like in that time. Um, okay, so let's just put those aside just for a moment. And just so you can see, uh, I've done like a little thing here uh, where I've, so if you're going to make your pastel paper, a good idea would be to maybe start with um, maybe hot press. I've got hot press watercolour paper. This is um, 140 pound. Uh, this is the, the Archers one. Now look, you can do anything you want. You can use cold press paper if you wanted to, you know, but um, I've chosen hot press. Uh, paper and I've also got so and I've also labeled them so we'll know which one is which and I've and we're also going to be um, Using canvas now. This is Frederick's canvas the canvas pad and I just cut it up and what I'll do is um, I will zoom right in when the time comes uh, So we can see what it's like. So if you've got a canvas and you wanted to use uh, pastels on a canvas you know that's something to think about and especially like um, it would be also very good for mixed media artists as well um, I know uh, let me see Deb says I know the dr. Phil Hydras is ar um, is archival yes uh, what about the other colorings um, there is a there is a dr. PH Martins where it's it it's not the um, it's n not the light fast one. This is the light fast one. Let me see. Um, oh, does it say the information? Usually things like that say the information on it. But I know that these are, see, because they're pigments. There it is. Light fast. Oh gosh, here we go. Hang on. Oh, oh I'm going to zoom in. Here, here we go. Let me zoom in. okay yeah yeah but this one says light fast archival okay blend into mix brilliant concentrate pigments non-toxic and this one is transparent okay so there you go uh pardon look i was grubby because i was playing around with these before the stream so my hands are a bit messy so excuse that okay let's go back out a little bit Ooh. All right, so um, Janet said, okay, okay. Um, what a great idea. I hadn't thought to use canvas. That would add great texture too. Yes, it would, Beth. Yeah, oh yeah, look, this is, um, yes, yes. And um, this little thing here I've got here is pastel matte the surface. And I was going to, I'm going to test out the fixatives on uh, these. So, Let's have a go, hey! Uh, but first of all, we've got to make our um, we've got to make our grant our grant our ground. Gosh, can't even talk. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> spit it out! Spit it out! That's it. Spit it out. Um, let me just put that aside. Okay, here we go. I got my little boats. Okay, um, and you're not going to believe it. <laughs> I've got I've got cocktail forks to mix my um, paint. So there you go. Look, we're bringing the kitchen down. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, okay. All right. Okay. So let's go with. Okay, here we go. This is the Color Fix Primer Pastel and Multimedia Primer. And this color is aubergine and it's 250 mil and it's permanent and it's acid free. And so this is what it looks like in the jar. Hang on. I might just um, zoom in on this one now so you can have a good look. Here we go. All right. OK, 
Okay, I'll just put the top on that one. Put that as. <gasps> Dee Dee, I'm awake for once. Hey, <laughs> hello everyone. This is my daughter Aphrodite. Hello, Dee Dee, sweetie. Thanks for joining in. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Um, oh, it's nice when family comes in. <laughs> is Stevie asleep? Is Stevie asleep? That's the that's the question. Okay, so um, okay, now we've got here the um, the schminky, the pastel, and it says here primer for pastels. So let's have a go at that one. Uh, who, uh, where, where do I get the cute little boats? So, oh, Deb. Uh, Deb, um, I got these from a, um, uh, I got it from a, like a kitchenware place. You know what I mean? Like one of these um, that we have here. Like, you know, those, you, you, you would probably have them where you are as well. Um, they're really, it's more of a catering thing, but I just think this is so cute for things like, well, I bought it for parties and things like that, but they're just perfect for, for this. <laughs> Okay, so this is the consistency with this one. As you notice, though, a different consistency. So there's that one. Actually, what I should do is do that so you can see. Ah. All right. Oh, you can't see that. Um. just want you to see in case you wanted to write these things down okay and here are the golden now this is not my favorite one I have to say but anyway if it's not my favorite but it might be someone else's favorite now look at the consistency in that one a bit different I almost need to spoon it out Okay, but it needs water. Now, I'll tell you what the recipe is for this one. This one says something to... Oh, come on, close up. This is how I then can't open. Now, it says here, here we go. It says here, uh, transparent. Uh, Milner, hello, hello, how are you going? Welcome. I don't think I have time for... Uh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Good. Oh, hello, Oksana. Hello, hello. I didn't... G'day, Peg. Oh, g'day, Peg. How are you going? How are you going? Have I missed anyone? Please, have I missed anyone? No. Is that it? Have I missed? No, I haven't missed. All right. Okay. Hey? What happened? Don't know. Oh. Okay. Can uh, uh, can everyone still see me or hear me? Oh, okay. No, no. Wendy was just saying that there was a problem, but um, we're still here. Okay. Oh. Okay. The the golden. Uh, the golden says, uh, yes, uh, can see and hear. Oh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Wonderful, okay, wonderful. Um, this one says transparent uh, and it's matte and it's more on the thick side, as you can see. Now, when it says here directions, it says, um, uh, okay, does not come ready to brush apply. We need to put water in this, okay? Um, and is and it is UV resistant. Uh, it says here yields a sandable film, offers tooth for um, adhesion of subsequent paint layers. Uh, dried film has excellent f flexibility, water and UV resistant. Minimum film formation temperature is 49 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, nine degrees uh, Celsius. Now it says thin up. 
up to 40% water to prepare a support for oil paint, painting apply a minimum of three coats all right so I'm I'm, I'm going to put water um, in I, I'm not going to put water in this one or I might just maybe I'm not quite sure I'm going to put and this one for the directions says again this one says light fast very absorbent primer for uh, various uh, fat free materials like wood metal canvas paper so, you know, you can use this for quite a few things, which is fantastic. Um, what else do we say here? Oh, yes. Um, it's it's saying to dilute with 20, 10 to 20% of water, apply two to three coats. Uh, fixation necessary for several or thicker pastel layers. Okay. So, let's have a go, eh? Um, <laughs> all right. I've got some water here. And I'm going to use my little tubey thing. What do you call those? Pipettes? Pip pipettes? What do you call them? Pippy? Pipettes. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mix this first and get it to a really nice consistency. Maybe I should just use the spoon. Might just use the spoon. That's not working. Ah, where is it? I've got I've got the spatula, but I've got that. I'll use that as well. Oh, okay, Dee Dee. Okay, everyone, I'm out too technical for a muggle like me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Bye, sweetheart. Talk to you soon. Uh, Chrissy, do you do they give you the drying times in the instructions? Sorry if uh, if you already answered this. Had to go make coffee. Oh, look, no. Um, what does it say? Um, let me see drying time uh, doesn't really say anything about drying time I suppose with it with any primer really what you're supposed to do is wait 24 hours I know with acrylic I know with painting like gessos and stuff like that really you should wait 24 hours I I mean although it's dry to the touch I probably shouldn't you know, I, I would not do it anyway. I would wait 24 hours at least. So there's that. Now, so you can put that on your canvas as it is like that. But if you wanted to tint it, okay, sh which color shall we use? Shall we use, um, oh no, let's use a sh schminky. Oh, this one? Or, or the, or the, um, yeah, or the, because this is schminky. Should I use the schminky one, the fine acrylic ink? Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. And again, this is um, uh, this is used for um, airbrushing. This one. And look at that light, uh, light fast. It's got five stars. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where the light fast information is on this. Can't see it. Well, that's got to be it then. We know the stars were schminky. Anyway, a couple of drops. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let's just put that aside for the moment, just for the moment. Okay, this one, golden, acrylic ground for pastels. Again, it says here, thin with 
up to 40% of water. Actually, I think I've put too much of this on here. I'm going to put this some of it back in. Just too much, I think. Okay. And it's really thick, eh? Look at that. Okay. Let's just put that on. Okay. Let's just go... We, Wendy's saying, how come I'm saying A, but we say that a lot. And Wendy's saying that the Canadians say A a lot. Do they say, I've got a few Canadians. I've got, I, I know at least of one Canadian that's in here. Do we, do, would that be right, Heidi? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, look, I just sprayed some of that in there. Okay. Let me just get right into this now. Here we go. Now that's transparent, um, but let's just put some, um, uh, seeing as this is, um, where's golden? Let's put, oh, where is the golden one? Here we go. This is golden ultramarine high flow. Let's put a few drops in there. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Queenslanders say A, eh? not so much in the West. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Beth, uh, Wendy accuses me of it's it's my language. It's just, <laughs> it's called Chrissyisms. That's what they are, Chrissyisms. Oh, okay, but yes, Queensland Queenslanders do say that. So this is what that looks like. Maybe might need a little bit more water. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I decided to wear nail polish for a change. I hardly wear nail polish. Well, the reason why I don't wear nail polish is because sometimes if I'm working, and of course the nail the, the nail polish chips and it looks and then it looks dreadful, and then of course I'm always arting and I'm filming, so I want to make sure that my nails are either nicely painted or. Um, clean okay so there's golden let's just do that for a moment okay I'm gonna put this aside now oh sorry okay so I'll put all of these aside just for the time being All right. Okay. Okay. Let's start off. Let's start off with. Hang on, here we go. Uh, there it is. There. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Let's start off with the schminky. Just leave that there and the brush that I'm using it's just <clears throat> um, this one's a, a cheap acrylic brush um, nothing too fancy I'm just gonna wet it wet it a little bit and again hot press arches hot press um, I want Thin layers. Okay, 
there's that one now seeing as I've got this brush in my hand I'm going to also do the one for canvas okay don't need that that needs to be out of the way so I'll do the canvas one as well and um, and I'll show you I will zoom right in so you can see the canvas Um, let me see if I can zoom right in. So at least you can see the tooth of the the canvas one. Can you start? Can you start to see it? Yeah. Can you see the canvas? There <laughs> we go. Ridges. There we go. Just smoothing it out. There we go. All right. So, so you can see like the the thread or the I don't know what it is. The yeah. Anyway, the cotton. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out again. Sorry, I'm going to make you guys dizzy by doing this. Uh, Um, I prefer I to be honest when it comes to this I found <clears throat> I'm liking the canvas I'm liking the support for the canvas for this um, the 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 paper if you're going to use it should be a heavier paper like arches 140 pound um, yes so um, let me just um I'm just rinsing this out and I'll just put it aside just for a moment yeah oh great Beth uh, Beth sorry you c yeah okay great all right so let's just put that one aside maybe I should just do that okay next one uh, next one is the golden acrylic ground for pastels um, wetting the I'm wetting the, the brush now this is a totally different texture oh I just anyway it is transparent it is really hard to see probably for you I'm dipping it in water again. Oh, that's too much. Too much water. Wow, look at the difference. <clears throat> okay, let's go the canvas. Um, Heidi says, since we won't see the finished dried product on the stream, do you know how the finished tooth texture of each compares with pastel matte, closer to pastel matte or more like Canson Mutant? Um, it just so happens I have prepared some earlier, so I will show you and we'll have a go um, with the pastels on it. Um, so, yes. So... Um, Okay, Beth, not um, the consistency is not like pancake batter. I would say thick cream, thickened cream. Like, like yeah, uh, uh, yeah, like heavy cream. But look at that. Now. I've put in some water. Okay. 
I have put in some water, but the directions say up to 40% of, so for example, you know, three parts, uh, say maybe three teaspoons of, of the ground to one teaspoon of water. No, no, that's more than that. No, sorry. Uh, 40%. That's l nearly half. Sorry, what am I saying? So, yeah, I'm, yeah, sorry. 40, 40 per yeah, 40%. So if I've got, say, four, uh, four teaspoons, say, four teaspoons of the ground, almost two teaspoons of the water. There we go. I'm just trying to, yeah, <laughs> math. Okay, so there we go. Here we go. You can just see the tooth there. And I'm just rinsing my brush. I don't want... Okay, so there's that. So let's just put that aside. Next. And next one is the Color Fix Primer uh, for pastels. Yes. Oh, Steve, hello, hello. Um, Oksana, this is really good. This is a really good demonstration. Never tried making pastel paper before. Well, no time like the present. That's if you want to. <laughs> um, I might just put just a touch of water in here. Where's my little droppy thing? Hang on. Sorry, hang on. I put on. I put just a little bit, a few drops of water in this one, and the consistency. Again, it's a bit like the um, the golden one. Um, probably the thinner you make it, the better it is, I suppose. Oh, hang on, my head's in the way. Here we go. Okay. Probably should have put more water I think I should have put more water in that but there we go so this is on hot press hot press paper okay so what I would suggest I would suggest to let let that dry to the touch then apply another coat and let that dry and like and then like in other words yeah, uh, I, I don't sand in between, uh, but you could, I suppose, uh, but I wouldn't. Um, um, but you could. I don't see why not. Um, there are no rules. All you have to do is just apply again. Um, so about two to three coats, I would I suggest. So uh, let's try now the canvas. And let's see if it's touched. Mm, nearly. This is on the canvas. I like it going on the canvas. There we go. All right. So that's the canvas. Okay, now um, see if I can, look, I've got this little dryer, let's see if we can, let's do the dryer, use the dryer, just for a minute, I'll just, um, I'll turn the sound down, um, just one moment.
Okay. Um, I'm gonna do get a close up. Okay, who was that? Let me see. Who said that? Ah, ah I tried silk. I tried silk screening uh, it on using a blank textile screen uh, lower thread count and got a lovely surface uh, with the color fix fine tooth wow that's pretty good see you can do anything hey um okay that's not dry yet but you know what this is dry let's i'm going to put another few coats on that that's dry Well, re well, well. Really, you should go one way and then let it dry. Then go the other way. That's what you should do. Yeah, it yeah yeah it needs to be smooth. Um, but you know what? This is uh, dry enough for me to put um, another coat. Let's try one more coat, just so you can see the opaqueness of it. This is the canvas one. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. I'm liking that. Okay, let's try the, um, the hot press paper. They dry uh, the schminky and the um, the schminky and the color fix primer uh, dry with a matte finish. Yes. Liking that. Okay. Let's put let's put just this aside for the moment. Now the the golden. I'm just putting a bit of water on my brush. Oh, the other way. I don't think this was dry. I don't think that one was dry enough. Okay, and let's see, is this dry? Yeah, it's dry. Looks like um, it was. the color fix primer oh can you see that okay now on the canvas on. make sure things aren't too messy here uh, where are we here we go needs water so you could make it as thick or as thin as you want I mean it all depends what your project is really um, 
but I'm really loving it on the canvas. The schminky and the... Yes. So you can do a, a lovely pastel project on a canvas board, on a canvas. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be lovely? Or you could... Um, or those um, panels anything oh my gosh anything okay just let me put that down for a moment now let's just do the hot press color paper um, this is interesting who said that one let me see okay Janet says I purchased some pastel matte board a while back but the surface on it is terrible no tooth really Wow uh, might uh, no tooth might try one of these uh, to improve it I I guess um, one of these uh, to improve it. Guess you can do this on pastel mat. Um, Janet, I've got a question. Are you meaning tooth? Uh, sorry, when you say tooth, tooth as in the touch, or have you tried using the? Have you tried using it? Do you know what I mean? Like, have you applied the pastel on the board? Um, Wendy, uh, Wendy says no. Um, Heidi says, Chrissy, it looks. It, um, it sorry Heidi it, it looks to me like the golden doesn't go on quite as evenly uh, am I seeing that right or does it look different to you in real no you're right it doesn't it is transparent that's the difference it's transparent and it doesn't go as evenly yeah you're right it just doesn't look um, even yeah I'm just washing my brushes I just did, don't want to leave them um, in the water okay so We've applied two. We've applied two. So that's dry enough for me to do something on there. That is not. Let's just. Uh, uh, I have used it. Um, Janet says I have used it several times, but all, uh, but all same. Such does not hold. Uh, too late to return. So don't want to waste. Never had issue with pads. But not sure I would uh, I would buy more board. You know what? Um, it must have been not a very good batch for you because I'm working on a board at the moment and it's just grabbing pastel like you wouldn't believe. Not sure. Oh well, might not be a good batch. Um, does the golden make the canvas feel plastic? No. Um, no. Oh, hang on. Where are we? Let me just get it no not yet I have to wait till that dries um, I might just do that now hey let's just I might just let me just use the dryer again hang on a sec
Okay. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Um, really like, um, uh, yeah, the, yeah, it's, you know what it is, Oksana? It's, um, it's the, sorry, sorry, I've, I've missed something. Oh, hang on, I've missed something before. Really like that color. Uh, would it make a nice background for any painting? Um, would you, uh, would you call it Bordeaux? Uh, this color, aubergine, they call it. They call that aubergine, yeah, aubergine. Um, there it is there. That's what they call that. Um, okay. Uh, it's, it's more like a plum color. Yes, it is. Um, does the golden make the canvas feel... Pla oh, you know, I've, an I've answered that. Um... I have to say, I'm a, oh, Oksana says, um, I have to say I'm a bit disappointed with the golden ground performance. It's, uh, yeah, because it's transparent um, in comparison with the schminky and the color fix. Uh, the pad pastel, oh, the pan pastel is great and totally different so far. Might have to buy a um, single sheet of board again and try. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. May, mm, yeah. Um... John says, if the color on the light is on is inconsistent, is the tooth consistent? Well, the tooth is consistent. I'm fi and I'm fi the tooth is consistent. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. I'm thinking, can you hear that? Next to the, um, I'm putting it next to the microphone so you can hear, um, can you hear, it's sandy. I'm not sure if you can hear that. But we're going to try a pastel on here for sure. Uh, they've dried enough, I think, to even do that. And this is the... This one is the canvas that you're hearing. Um, the canvas golden. And this is the aubergine one. The the art spectrum, the colour fix. And this is the, the schminky one. All right. We might even have a go at trying these. I'm actually going to have to put these aside now. You'll just have to bear with me just for a moment. Where's a safe place? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's just put that aside so it's not bothering us with the spoon and everything. All right. Now, the ones that I've done before, I just wanted you to see. That's it there. There's about three coats there. Very similar. I didn't wait for it to dry, and I, was, I touched it, and look what happened. So I was impatient. And that's the one. Very, very fine. Yeah. But let's, I think, let's try that one first. And if, if I'm not, I'm not confident to put pastels on this yet but let's just try see what happens um okay what have we got here sennelier okay Peggy says, Chrissy, uh, your beautiful African Queen soft pastel piece. What pastels did you use or what surface? Uh, just curious. Sorry to get off topic. My uh, African Queen, you mean the one with the lion and the uh, the elephant, that one? That was used. Uh, I used all soft pastels uh, and I used um, red earth a lot on the African Queen's face uh, and um, gosh that's going back a bit um, and I used color fix pastel paper and that was before I discovered pastel mat so and it was a biggie I think that's the one uh, not in, yeah not impressed with the golden so far yeah I understand all right so canvas now, I'm hoping that this is dry enough for me to do this, okay? so But if it isn't, I've got the other ones. So let's have a go. Oh. Here we go. Ooh. Let's 
so it's toothy okay let's try the art spectrum maybe a brighter color so you can see and this is uh, schminky pastels Okay, I don't know if that's going to work on there. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the canvas. How about... Alright, that's the canvas. This is the hot press paper much much more different there you go I've got pan pastel I'm going to try pan pastels as well okay let's go oh wow look at the color fix Yeah, Wendy was saying that you know their paper's not so good, but their ground is um, all right. Um, let's have a go. Schminky, mind you, I've only just I should let it dry properly, but but I'll try the other one as well. Let's go. I know, no time. Well. Tell you what, the golden, it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Hang on. This is the canvas. Um, I haven't, uh, I can put um, pencil on it if you like. Um, I'm not quite, uh, I don't know if I filled the tooth, but let's have a go. Uh, let's just try this one here again. Well, the golden actually is okay. These are just two light layers and I haven't waited 24 hours for it to dry. Uh, uh, let me see. Ah, all right. Well, let's try. Uh, let's try pastel pencil. I've got pastel pencil. Uh, uh. All right. Here we go. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Pan pastel. Let's have a go. Let's go the canvas. <laughs> let's go the canvas. Okay. And of course you can see the tooth of the canvas like you would as if you were painting, you know, oils. So, hang on. Okay, let's try let's try the fine tooth here. Ooh, I like it. That's on the can that's canvas art spectrum. Pan pastel. Okay, let's try the ground. Uh, sorry, the the golden. And I'll try the pastel pencil, so hang on a sec. Here we go. Two secs, here we go. That's canvas, pastel pencil. Ooh, I like that on the on the on the uh, golden. Okay, schminky. Oh, and on top. Okay, here we go. On top. 
just struggling a little bit with that I think I'm not quite sure whether I should wait for it to dry that's the only thing but oh hang on that's coming off oh, I should wait for it to dry let's go something softer geocondas that was the conti this is on the art spectrum fine tooth it's coming through maybe I need more layers Wow, the golden is working much nicer with that. So, oh, this is working okay as well. But you see, you would have to adjust your techniques if you. That, okay, so that's on canvas. That's on canvas. Right. So we've tried pan pastel, we've tried pastel pencils, and we've tried the soft pastel on all on those three. Okay, let's go. The hot press. Oh, can I just have a drink first? Hang on a sec. All right. Okay. Uh, Heidi says, Chrissy, from the sound only, it seems to me the tooth is closer to a mitant than pastel mat yes 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 none of these feel like pastel mat I can tell you that now they don't uh, okay so what have we done here we've done so okay oh pan pastel uh, pan this is the hot press Not bad. Not like not like pan, not like pastel mat. Ooh, golden again. Look at that. And now the um the color fix. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's try the pastel pencil on top um, not like pastel mat I don't think that you would be able to get a lot of layers on top of that but it does go on let's try golden ground that's not bad uh, on top oh, hang on that's not a good color to show on top Not on top. I don't like this on top. I'm struggling with the tooth. With the, that's a soft pastel. The, on the I was struggling with the schminky. Uh, that's on the soft pastel. This is the pan pastel. The pastel pencil on top. Not so bad. That's okay. Again, not like pastel matte. I've got to say. Um, okay, let's go. The color fix primer with the pastel pencil on top of. The pan, no, don't like it. Yeah, I've used up the tooth. You're not going to get much tooth. You probably have to end up using um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fixative. <laughs> uh, so that's that. Now, because I did this earlier, I just want to see if there's a difference. So shall we have a go at that? Let's have a go at that. See, because this is only just freshly done. So let's just put this aside for the time being. All right. Did this about maybe, it would be now two hours ago, maybe. So I'll be very, very quick. Hopefully um, I'll get time to show you fixatives. My gosh. Uh... Okay, I will spend all my money on pastel mat. So will I. <laughs> so will I. Um, yeah. So, yeah, okay. So let's go. This is, again, so now this is just, oh, sorry. A few hours earlier. Oh, that's scratchy. Gosh. Here we go. Unison. 
And here we go. Uh, the here we go. Here we go. On the schminky, that is the unison. Wow, it's very rich. But I've actually gone right into the tooth. I've, I think I've, yeah, I've gotten right into it there. Um, hello, hello, Shannon. How are you going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, is the schminky more expensive than the art spectrum? Okay, schminky. Uh, I paid $44.90, say $45 Australian dollars. Uh, I don't know if the price tag's still on here. Couldn't tell you. I bought it a while ago. But yeah. Okay, pan pastel on the schminky. Which is just a few hours ago. There we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's, yep. Yeah. Hot press. Okay. Let's try the, uh, the hot press with the, uh, the color fix. The pan pastel, that goes on very nicely there. Beautiful. Pan pastel on there. Okay. Um, soft pastel. Let's try. S okay. Hi, Chrissy. Uh, you won't believe it was uh, last night. A girl was doing pan pastel drawings. Amazing. Uh, one's on an easel at a life drawing night and she used all these grounds. I was hooked. I want it. Okay. Well, what can I say? Go for it. Um, okay. This is the uh, the hot press. I'm using um, Sennelier. Lovely and soft. They're soft. Oh, that's nice. Okay. The... Okay, here we go. The... Okay, here we go. The um, and need to go. Have a great day, uh, you all. Bye, bye, Anna. Bye. Okay, here we go. This is that. That's actually quite nice. So I suppose it all depends on the pastel. I don't know. You have to. You know what you have to do. You have to give it a go yourselves. But at least you're getting an idea. Blending. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Next. Um, on the canvas, Sennelier Soft Pastel. And I'm going right into the tooth. And I'm going to go right into... This is the, the hot press. Okay. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, now, is this dry? Now, this is more coats. Can you see? I didn't do very even coats. I was, I was I rushed it. But let's have a go. This is the golden. It's quite nice. Quite nice. On the hot press paper. On the canvas. Oh, quite nice. So you've got to wait for it to dry, not like what I did. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, pans. Quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice. The canvas with the ground. So, yeah. yeah let, let's go with the hot, hot press watercolour paper. Pan pastel. All right. Uh, what else can we try? Uh, let's try pastel pencil. Here we go. That's working all right. Pastel pencil. Here we go. And on top, uh, not so good on top. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's the canvas. Uh, pastel pencil. On top. Mm, not so good. So it's all about the tooth, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Here. And on top, that's the soft, and that's the pan. Uh, yes, they would work on MDF board, but you have to prime it. Oh, well, that is a primer. Yeah. I would put, on an MDF board, I would put a normal gesso, and then I would put that on top, although this is a primer, so, yeah. You would because look it says don't worry about the gesso sorry rewind it says uh, art spectrum fine tooth color fix primer is quick drying acrylic primer which bonds aggressively to practically any clean surface paper canvas card ply uh, wood ceramic even plastic glass or metal that's what it says or tinted to your own specifications using art, spectrum inks, gouache or watercolour. So there's that. So, um, so is this, let me see. Uh, so do you reckon the pastel ground prepared paper takes less layers than pastel mat? Yes. How long does it take to dry? I would, uh, I would do uh, 24 hours. Touch dry, then like every every touch dry, do two or three layers, and then leave it to dry for 24 hours, and then start your art piece. Um, but I suspect the pastel mat, you know, look, it all depends what you're doing. I mean, if you're doing a multi uh, like like a multimedia project where you're using all kinds of things i mean this is really good it just like this stuff builds you know you can build texture and stuff like that so that you know where you normally wouldn't um oh look it's scratching off look it's the primers come off and that's probably because i haven't let it dry properly so that's that's the problem i would say that's on the canvas yeah, so there you go. There's that. Um, finally addressing this vertigo. Oh my gosh, Peg. I hope you're okay. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. All right, so. What time is it? Okay, I'm going to put these aside. Um, now, I've got... Okay, let me see. Now I've got a few things here. This is pastel mat, by the way, folks. Well, I had to have pastel mat at some point in here. But what I'm going to do now is um, play around with fixatives. Now, um, I've got a few things that I'm going to do. A while back, uh, we were playing with uh, different surfaces and different papers and and that was on another live stream so if you remember that so they're all labeled here so what I'm going to do and here we go there's my taunt my taunt text um, Sennelier gray felt paper Sennelier velvet okay so what we might do is put um, fixative on these but let's just have a quick go on the pastel mat and uh, and that is a uh, pastel board by ampersand and Am ampersand did i say it right oh my gosh make sure i say it right um uh, i mean off the dried ground oh off i mean off the dried ground obviously okay uh, and if water gets on it does it come off okay oh all right uh, you mean like the canvas, Heidi? Um, all right. Well, hang on. Let's go water. Just 
still on oh look because of the colors okay not coming off that's from the pastel pencil that one and let's try this one well the ground's not coming off wow that's nice actually <gasps> oh wonder if um mm. Probably OMS too, I suppose. I actually like that. It's a very good idea. That's giving me an idea. That would look really nice. Oh, look, I haven't cleaned my brush. <laughs> That's actually quite good. And then you that can dry and then you can apply more pastel on hmm I mean off the dried ground obviously yes yeah very painterly says Beth yes hmm okay I don't have our mess nearby Ugh. well I didn't Wendy says, you said you had everything. I didn't have OMS. I didn't think of OMS. Uh, that almost gave it a watercolour effect. Yes, it does. <laughs> On the gold... Mm. Yeah. There you go. There's that. That's all right. That's all right. Um, yes. Okay. All right. So let's put that down. So there you go. There's the water business. Uh, hang on. That's on the canvas. Let's go on the hot press paper. Let's go that one. Seeing as there's brighter colors on that one. Let's have a go at that one. Hey. See, that's the pan pastel. Water doesn't go nicely on that. On create. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, that's, um, uh, yeah, that's unison. Yeah. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is the color fix. Oh, that looks good too. Look at that. That's actually working out pretty good too. I mean, don't mind because it's, yeah, I mean, it's a bit muddy there. But yeah, look at that. Pan pastel, I would be, mm, it doesn't go see with the water. OMS, but then again, OMS, Wendy was thinking that it that might affect the primer, but it shouldn't, should it? I'm just trying to think. It shouldn't. But look at that, yes. Okay, let's try the blue there. This is the hot press. Oh, yeah. Bugger. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, that's lovely. 
Okay, that works. So I suppose you could create a wash, couldn't you? And then go like with the pastel. Hang on, that's pan pastel there, isn't it? Yeah, the pan pastels. Oh. Wow, look at that unison. There you go. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Well, that's okay. Um, um, I can do it. Uh, I can. I can. I can. Is it? I can. It doing. Doing a nice wash for an underpaint. Yes, yes, it can do for an underpainting. Uh, but I'm wondering if pastel mat has spoiled us all. Yes, I know. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, I think so too. Pastel mat has spoiled us, hasn't it? Because um, it just does everything. It just does everything. But you know, all depends. There's alternatives for everything, I suppose. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's very quickly, I want to quickly use um, fixatives on this. Okay, so uh, bright colors so you can see. Um, okay, I just want to quickly. Can you say, yeah. oh, green on green, probably not good. Um, Okay, what have I got here? This is a uh, like it's got an op this is sheen on this it's like an opal like a what do you call those colors uh, ones with the sheen what do you call them uh, purpolescent yes that's right I was trying to think of the word <laughs> yes okay all right very quick more put more okay and i'm going to put pan pastel as well on this uh here we go, let's just go. Oh, sorry. Make sure you can see. Just cover that bit. All right. Um, Of all things, pastel mat to put fixative on. Unheard of. <laughs> uh, Christy, this is uh, so educational. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Okay, what else can I use? Wicked, hello, hello, sweetie, how are you going? Okay, oh, lovely bright red. This should. Gosh, look at that unison. My gosh. 
what a yeah. okay all right let me just put these aside okay let's start off with hang on a sec before I do anything let me vacuum first okay uh, I have oh, I have a bit of paper so I can cover half of it and I'm going to apply each of these and let's just see what the result is now when you uh, uh, Amy Rose hello Amy how you going how you going um, okay so uh, with fixatives and all of this you've got to spray these in a well ventilated area okay just for the purposes of this exercise unfortunately I can't do that right now can't take this outside or you know I've closed my windows because it's night time and it's cold so but well ventilated areas so the first one we've got here is the Krylon workative fixative now I know that these I know that this is available in the US it is now it's available in Australia I'm not quite sure in the UK and I'm not quite sure in Europe um, so anyway but I'm giving it a good shake um, and I'm just going to cover other bits so I don't want anything else to I don't want anything else There we go. All right. Great. I can't open it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm thinking, gosh. Okay. And about 20 centimeters or 30 cent. Hang on. Okay. Keep away from sparks. There we go. I just want to see twi uh, coverage. I just want to see. Dries in t 10 to 15 minutes. Handle after an hour. Uh, well ventilated area we've talked about that substrates it says wood metal plastic paper mache glass paper ceramics uh, dried silk flowers paper wicker etc uh, there we go well let's see how we go I'll just do one at the moment so <laughs> look at that can I just look at that hello hello already that's probably because it's wet so let's just wait till it dries okay but look at that already the yellow has lost its sheen There you go. It's lost its sheen. That's what I call it too. What is it? Did the yellow lose its sparkleness? Yes, it did, Beth. Yes, it did. But if you notice, uh, if you notice, this is wet too. So let's just, you know, let's just wait, hey? All right. So next one. Okay, let's put that one aside for the moment. And we've got the Windsor & Newton Professional Fixative. Uh, protects drawings from smudging or, uh, and dust. You know what's really good though with these? 
Um, what's really? Oh, sorry, that's too close. Oh, hang on. Look, I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute while I'm while I'm doing this. What's really good about these fixatives, and the only way that I would use a fixative is I'm if I'm painting on canvas. If I'm painting on canvas and I put my drawing, then I can use this fixative whether it's this one or the Krylon one or any of these ones that's when I would use fixative so if I'm drawing my drawing and then that's the only time okay let's go with this one shaking it yeah before a painting get your drawing down yep Windsor and Newton. Okay, let's try the schminky now. Here we go, Schminky. It's covered. Okay, and again, what does it say here? It wants me to be about 20 or 30, no, 30 or 40 centimeters away from the object. And it says here, shake well before use and spray at room temperature by moving the can from one side to the other side and from top to bottom holding the can 30 to 40 centimeters from the object, uh, which is placed here. Yeah. Okay, so which is placed on an incline, but I can't do that here, but you'll get the drift. What I mean. Let's just hope it dries. I wonder if I use if I use a hair dryer, do you think it'll be um do you think it'll do yeah, I have to leave it. Mm. Okay, now the next one. Oh yes, see. Okay, Micador. This is the fix it, it's a workable matte fixative, clear permanent protection. For pastel, charcoal, uh, chalk and pencil work. There you go. Micador. That one. Let's give that one a good shake. The only time like my drawings get darker after spraying is when working with graphite. It increases contrast, makes drawings look a tiny bit better. Well, there you go. <laughs> ah. But what, what we're saying is that it does change colour, doesn't it? Yeah. We will be intellectuals after this stream, says John. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. And says again here, well, this one says hold can 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface um, and it wants you to spray at a 45 degree angle. Okay, fine. And I'm not doing much, as you can see. It's just very short squirts, too. Okay, that's the Micador fixative. There you go. There's that. So, that's this group. It's obvious, isn't it? And that's on pastel mat. 
Oh look, it's even done something there. It's done something different there. I don't know what it's done. It's diluted it. It's separated the um the pigment. All right, let's try now. Hang on, I haven't finished all of them. Uh, where's the, my other lot? Uh, oh, here we go. Now. All right. Oh, okay. Now, the one that we talk about a lot, and that is Spectrafix. This would be interesting. Okay, Spectrafix. There it is there. This is the one that if we were to ever, well, if, if I was to ever use a fixative, it would be this one. Um, it comes and it's and it comes in a and it's not in an aerosol can it comes in a pump spray now if you use this if you elect to buy this and you use the pump spray it spits out right it spits out Chrissy you sh uh, you should cover those horizontally uh, so all the colors show oh all right yeah that's a good idea yeah, I get you. Good one. Oh, somebody should have said something to me. I never thought about that. Well, there you go. All right. So, so if you use this, you'll get like these little spats. So, to stop that, there is a pump, like a spray, which is a, a fine mist spray, which is um, which I've emptied that whole container in this. Now I know that you can buy these, these are like for hairdressers, I don't know, you buy them everywhere. They're on Amazon, oh, they're everywhere, so, and they're not, they don't cost much. But so this is Spectrafix, so let's see how we go with this one. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh look, it's even spitting. Oh gosh, this is... I don't even like this one now. Look what it's done. Maybe it's the angle. It's the angle. Oh. Mm. I've got to wait till that dries, hey? I've got to wait till it dries. Okay. Brush and pencil textured fixative. Now we all know this is not for pastels. I'm telling you now, this is not for pastels. N O spells no. Um, this is a color pencil product. It is for color pencil. But people always ask. They ask, why can't we use brush and uh, this textured fixative. Well, it's not made for this, so just thought I'd mention that. What was that? Not pliable, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not pliable. That's right. Wendy was just saying it's not pliable. Uh, you can't bend your piece anymore once you use this product. Yes, I agree. Yep. Yeah. So let's have a go. And I've got the bubbles <laughs> on this. Wow, that's not, yeah. Okay, there's that one. And now one last one. that away and this one actually out of all of the ones this is one I like I like this one but you know I don't like any fixative really but for pastels that is just for pastels you know if... 
So you can say that I've tried some, and I know there's like, I don't know, there's just so many more. I can't, there's so many more. <laughs> yes, that's right, Deb. Keep spraying that stuff and you won't need grape, grape juice for a buzz. That's it, yep. Um, got to, got to shake two minutes on this one. Oh, yes, that's right, Peg, the... um. The, the brush and pencil one, yep. Right, okay. Lucky last. This one is one that I've actually found that I like. But that is not as bad. That is not as bad as the other ones. Alright, so... Let's put them all together, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder do should I should I use a dryer? Should I use the hair dryer to dry them? What do you think? That, that's it, it hardly hang on yeah um, okay can I dry this with a hair dryer just slightly let's see how we go just to give spectra fix a go Okay. Let me just have a drink. Let's just have a look. Oh, hang on. Let me just... How can I... Oh. Yeah. All right, let's have a look while I'm having a drink. So, this is what we mean. And this is on pastel mat. Now, I think Spectrafix was the one that, I don't know. definitely changed the color all all the colors have changed the better result for me for me is that one which is that one here uh, OFC uh, most of you don't spray color pencil and, uh, and pastel What's that? What's that? Oh. Everything is good about watercolor. There you go. Uh, sorry, everyone. Uh, I'm graphite default mode, so my cue was more for mediums that require and do well with most fixatives. There you go. I'm surprised by the Spectrafix result. The best seems to be the Helmar. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. In in this experiment, yes, I'd say yes. This is an Australian one, I think, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know whether it says here, 
crystal clear, acid-free, non-yellowing, archival safe, protects while you create, pastels, charcoal, pencil, chalk, watercolours, uh, tempera, temper, is it tempera, Tem tempera, Conti Crayon, India Ink and Ink. And it is, you can get it on Amazon, says Wendy. And this is the workable mat. There's, there's also, it's about $15 or $16, Wendy tells me. And this one is the workable mat. There's also the one, the, I've got the one where it's like the end fixative as well for that. The final, the yeah, or the varnish, or mm. okay, or all right. Wendy's just when Wendy's just telling me how much um, the different types, um, how much they are, and all of that with this brand, but. But you can get them on Amazon. You can get this on Amazon. But look, I don't know if this has been... I mean, I'm hoping that it's been a little bit helpful. Or if anything, it's been eye-opening. Uh, we can get it in Oz. Yes, we can. I got this one from my local art store. So we can get this, Beth. Yes. Um, uh, do they smudge? Okay, let's go, Janet. Um, no. No, for brush and pencil. Oh. It's work. Oh. Oh, here we go. Sorry. So that's that's okay. Look at that one. That doesn't smudge. Gosh. Uh, which one was it? Uh, this one. Look, doesn't smudge. Uh, doesn't smudge. Doesn't oh that's created. Um, the Krylon has given it more tooth compared to look. I, I don't know if you can hear this. I need you to hear it on the microphone. Here, look, watch this. Oh, sorry, hear this. That's the Krylon one, and look at the difference. See. So what what that's what this one has done? It, it's created tooth. There you go. That one's created the tooth. And uh, smudging the schminky one. Hang on. And that doesn't smudge either. So they all don't smudge. <laughs> they all don't smudge. Uh, OMG, just checked on Amazon Canada and that Hillmar spray is $64 Canadian. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. If we put yours and Jason Morgan's test together, it covers so many fixatives. Very valuable video for pastel artists considering spraying their work. Thank you, Wicked. Thank you for that. That's very nice. Um, yes. Um, yeah. So I think I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. So I think we've um, accomplished a lot today. I think we've um, made pastel paper. <laughs> And, and, or, sorry, we've made pastel surfaces. Oh, yeah, surf, hang on, ha, what's the word that I used before? I used a very nice word. Um, ground, oh, anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> and, um, oh, <laughs> there's a, what's the word that I used before? I used it, it was a very nice word. It was, uh, what is it, something for, ah. Uh, I can't think of it now. <laughs> I can't. I can't think of it now. <laughs> Wendy's getting me to go. Come on, think of it. Say it. Say it. I can't think of it. Um, so there you go. Any questions? Uh, I'd like to work in graphite and charcoal when I have finished the drawing and like the result. I am frightened to add fixative. Uh, I put it in a frame. And John, you do some lovely graphite stuff. I've seen your graphite stuff. Very nice. Lucky she's not drinking tonight with all that spray. <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, all right then. Um, I will call this stream a stream. Um, 
But just wanted to say, oh, thank you so much for hanging around and keeping me company and for us checking all of this out. Look at this. Ah. Um, but yeah, look, I hope you have um, a good rest of the week and um, I'll probably see you or you can see me um, uh, this Sunday perhaps. Um, but until then, oh, first of all, before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you to Wendy. Um, I, I have all of uh, Wendy's um, social media sites in the description box below. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if you're just coming in and, and um, uh, coming in for the first time, please check out Wendy's channel. And I just wanted to say always, as always, thank you to Wendy. She's our help desk. She is ours. She's no one else's. She is ours. We've got her <laughs> for keeps. Uh, but anyway, everyone, bye for now and talk soon, I'm sure.